Northeast India has a good deposit of subbituminous tertiary coal, which has high sulfur content. Generally there are two forms of sulfur, organic sulfur and inorganic sulfur. Out of these 75 to 90 percent is organically bound, while the rest is an inorganic form, that is sulfate sulfur and pyritic sulfur. In order to estimate the presence of sulfate and pyritic sulfur present in coal, we are carrying out the sulfur estimation process. At first, we are going to demonstrate how to determine the presence of sulfate sulfur present in coal. At first, we have to reflux 5 gram of coal with 50 milliliters of 5 normal hydrochloric acid. The reflux is carried out in a round bottom flask of 100 milliliters for 30 minutes. Then we filter the reflux coal sample. The filtrate part obtained here, is used for the determination of sulfate sulfur. For the determination of sulfate sulfur, firstly, we add ammonium hydroxide dropwise to the filtrate part, in order to precipitate the sulfate iron. This solution, along with the precipitate, is again filtered through what had been 41 filter paper. To the filtrate part, obtained previously, we add 10 milliliters of barium chloride solution dropwise, until we get a white precipitate of barium sulfate. The precipitate of barium sulfate, along with the filter paper, is then taken in a crucible. The crucible is then, finally heated in a furnace at 800 degrees Celsius for one hour. After shutting down the furnace, the crucible is allowed to cool down, and then the crucible is taken out from the furnace, and kept in a desiccator, until the weight of the ash content in the crucible is measured.